Hi viewers, this is Sri Ramlu. So today's topic is what? Transverse vibrations of a bar free at both ends. So in the previous video, I have explained both ends are fixed. But in this video, both ends are not fixed. Both ends are free. Next, transverse vibrations of a bar free at both ends. Okay, so free. So when the bar is free at both ends, following boundary conditions are valid. So what are the boundary conditions? See here, boundary condition. Do square y by do x square is equal to zero, and a do cube y by do x cube is equal to zero. So both are zeros at this. Next, these two are zero at x equal to l. Means it is at first end and it is at second end. And one thing here we have to keep in mind: if you apply these two things, you can get the relation between a and c. If if you apply the these two things, then you can get relation between B and D only. So what are these? And if you apply these two things, we get these two things. We get one relation, and in the, by by using these two things, we get another relation. Just if you divide them, then you can get answer. Okay. Now, general solution of transfer wave <coughs> equation is so that is everybody know general solution cos omega t plus theta. A sine cos h, beginning hyperbolic function, later general function, normal function, normal trigonal function. Okay. So A cos h omega by v x plus B sine h omega by v x plus C cos omega by v x plus D sine omega by v x. So if you want to apply the first to B C, see. You must differentiate twice. Second BC, you must differentiate thrice. So differentiating equation, let the equation one and differentiation it with respect to x twice. So two times. Two time means one time cos differentiation sine again sine differentiation cos. Yes, sine differentiation one time cos. Next time cos differentiation sine. Okay. Now. Cos differentiation sine minus sine again sine differentiation cos only so that is why here minus has come here sine differentiation cos cos differentiation minus sine so that is why minus has come okay like this you have to do twice the differentiation every time what happens twice we are differentiating omega by v also comes twice and it becomes multiplied uh, like this and uh, omega by v whole square comma is taken outside don't forget this bracket. Every time it comes here, we are differentiating twice, so that is why twice it come outside omega by v whole square it becomes <coughs> first boundary condition. Applying the first boundary condition to the equation two, it is equation two. So first B C this is boundary condition means B C only. Substitute here zero here, and x value zero means wherever you have the x values. Okay, we know the cos terms, right? Cos term one and sine term zero. These two are sine terms. These two cannot be Present, these two are custom, so that is why two things are present. And uh, bring uh, a this side already minus c plus a is equals to zero means minus c is equals to minus a. A minus minus cancel, c is equals to a. Likewise, like this, we have to differentiate once again equation one. How many times? Thrice. Okay. So if you differentiate the equation one thrice, what we get here? Two times we have to differentiate. So where is that equation? See here. Okay. It is cannot be differentiable. Okay. So if you differentiate it thrice, thrice means cos differentiation sine. Okay, sine differentiation cos. Cos differentiation sine. One, two, three. See here sine. Next. Sine differentiation, cos. Cos differentiation, sine. Sine differentiation, cos. You cannot get in minus and plus here. So thrice differentiation. Every time what happens, omega by v comes, so it becomes whole cube. From all the factor it comes. And here important thing is this. Cos differentiation, minus sine. Sine differentiation already minus is there. Okay, minus. Sine differentiation cos two or twice over. Next one more time minus.
cos differentiation minus sin minus minus plus okay like this you have to differentiate this also uh, what is this sign sign differentiation cos cos differentiation minus sign sign differentiation cos so minus is as it is so cos minus cos we get see here minus cos okay where you have minus cos minus cos let it is equation third apply the bc to the third equation what is the bc this is the bc then what we get we get relation between db only so it is 0 0 0 0 0 everywhere 0 everywhere you have the x cos term becomes there and the sign term 0 this is 0 and this is 0 so these two things remains only so b d b minus d from this we can write d is equals to b only substitute c and d value in the equation 1 what we get we get this is okay both are positive d value plus b minus plus b and uh, c value also plus a now differentiate equation twice it's uh, it is it's a differentiate fourth equation differentiate we have to differentiate how many times twice so just know what we have done twice it means uh, omega by v also comes outside twice cos sin sin cos sin cos cos sin cos minus sin sin cos minus sin okay sin cos cos definition minus sign okay like this applying the boundary condition so it is the first boundary condition in the second bc first time twice two two times we have to apply so zero x in the place of x l value we have to substitute okay substituted right and bring this is this side it becomes zero no need to speak about this not only this and this is also only this will remains and uh, so take common here a value not taken only right written as it is now take common value if you take common here you have a and here a so it is cos h it is simply cos minus with minus similarly b yes sign minus sign yes now keep it here only bring b value outside of the equal plus becomes minus remaining all are same next differentiating equation for thrice Three times we have to differentiate which equation equation 4 so that means this equation we have to. so when you thrice uh, when you differentiate thrice see here what is equation 4 this is so cos differentiation sine sine differentiation cos cos differentiation sine one two three third time so final the answer sine next sine differentiation cos cos differentiation sine sine differentiation cos okay here minus values come so here you cannot get any minus value all the values are plus how many times you do it but you cannot get any minus value only plus value okay i explained you cos differentiation cos h differentiation is a sin h sin h differentiation cos h only minus you cannot get but here minus values comes cos differentiation how many times thrice you have to do cos differentiation minus sin keep it minus sign differentiation cos 1 2 2 only next cos differentiation again minus sign minus sign minus minus plus sign value we get so here sign value next for this also sign differentiation <coughs> sign differentiation cos cos differentiation minus sign minus sign differentiation so means as minus as right as it is sign differentiation cos only next ah, apply the boundary condition so here this value and this value here and uh, wherever you have the x values okay substituted here and uh, bring this side so then only this term will remains so like this and what you have to do you have to take common a values <coughs> a value here and here b value here and here so these two things here and these two things here and keep here this term this side and bring this bracket this side now it is plus become minus <coughs> it is equation 6 where is equation 5 this is equation 5 so 5 by 6 if you do 5 by 6 then we get 5 by 6 as like this 5 by 6 
here a cancel minus b minus b cancel then this is the formula now cross multiplication like this cross multiplication it is minus it is minus both are same whole square come <coughs> whole square and see it is a plus it is minus so that means a plus b into a minus b cross multiplication then what <coughs> a square minus b square form so a minus b square means a square <coughs> plus b square minus 2ab and these are as is this side okay and how we have to do here see here keep it like this as it is okay and uh, here why it is hyperbolic function here also you have the hyperbolic function being this is now it is a plus term if you bring it it's this side is minus same thing keep it uh, right as it is only and uh, this is a minus term bring this side it become plus okay. these two terms are written like this equal to zero okay now its value is one its value is one so one plus one one plus one it is this is one plus one we know two and uh, bring this two plus two this side it becomes minus two okay so two to minus two minus two cancel we get a uh, one only so here what is the function in tan tan omega l by 2v is equals to plus or minus tan omega l by 2v so this two tan can intersect at these points right so that means uh, this value is equals to these values okay and uh, here v value we know replace this value with this and a square on both side squaring omega square so for square root cancel omega omega cancel for four square four four square one four will be there okay remaining things keep omega here and remaining things bring this side it goes down it goes upside okay omega value we know that is 2 pi f substitute here 2 pi f so now pi pi can one cancel 1 pi will be there here and uh, 2 bring to this side 2 4 ja becomes 8 <coughs> in general f right as fn if we substitute n value is equals to 1 and take this one only okay so f1 is equals to this into this is what fundamental frequency f2 is equals to this into this first over term if n is equals to 3 if you substitute this into this is a third uh, or second over term so like this so many over terms are comes okay friends so don't forget keeping this thing in mind and uh, subscribing this video thank you